Um, it's extremely concerning to see the opposition turn up today with this suspension of standing orders and the words and the rhetoric that we're hearing here. It goes directly against the advice when it comes to ASIO and the concern around the polarisation in our communities and that uh, whipping up a sense of fear and an inference that, there, that um, for example, our services and systems are not working. And so what I'd like to share, I would like to share is the human story, the real story about some of the people we're talking about, the, the lives they're talking And I would ask you to be silent. I have the floor. Order. The member, the I would ask you to the, be silent. The member for Cowper, the member for Cowper will cease interjecting. The member for Warringah will be heard, just as other members were heard in silence. In 2020, I met a man called Mohammed at the North Stain Surf Life Saving Club. He had come to Australia under a visa approved by the Morrison government under the same systems. He came to participate in a surf life-saving skills program. He wanted to give the children of Gaza an opportunity to learn water safety, to not drown, to have something positive to have on weekends. They loved that program. They attended. Unfortunately, after the events of October, horrendous events of October, that program, of course, ended. The bombing started. Many people that participated in that program have died. Many of the children have died. These are normal families. These are families that you are seeking to paint that somehow they are all terrorists, that they should all be mistrusted and, and not worthy, that they are not worthy of humanitarian Order. aid. Order. The Leader of the Opposition will cease interjecting. I, we heard Order. you in silence. You can hear me in silence. Order. Stop the being racist. Leader of the Opposition. Order. Order. There is far too... The Leader of the Opposition is seeking to call. Well, it was an offensive and unparliamentary remark and it should be withdrawn. Order. The... Did the... Well, there is far too much noise, as I previously asked for the chamber to be silent. I'm just going to ask the member for Ringer if she made an unparliamentary remark to withdraw to assist the House. Well, if I could have a clarification, is a description of, of language being racist an unparliamentary remark? If, if the member just... The member for... The, 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 the member for Kennedy. Order. The member for Kennedy will resume his. The, the member for Kennedy will. Res, the member for Kennedy will resume his seat. Just to assist the House, so the debate can keep going, as have been previously ruled. Just ask the member to withdraw and continue. Uh, I, I will withdraw, I'll, I'll withdraw to assist the House, and I would ask that the same. Um, respect be shown to me to make my contribution on the chamber that you were afforded, something that does not seem to be uh, a common occurrence when it comes to the opposition. Order. Again, the member for right. So, this family, a beautiful family, where the father is trying to teach life-saving skills, water safety skills to children of Gaza, came under the coalition. They were vetted by the same systems. The member for Petrie, just if we can show more respect during this debate, it will greatly assist the House. So this family, again, because it's very easy to dehumanise people seeking safety. It's very easy to paint a brush that somehow they are all to be feared. But the reality is there, we are talking about Parents caring about their children, children that are at risk of, uh, that are in a horrendous situation. And can I just point out, so after the events and the, just the horrendous situation they find it him, themselves in, Mohammed sought to bring his family to safety, and he was able to. That my community of the Northern Beaches, the community of North, of North Stain Surf Club, rallied behind this family applied for visas, supported them, sponsored them. And they have, by hook and by crook, and I really don't 
you know, the, the details of it, of how they were able to reach safety, is, is just quite incredible. They were able to get out, and I met with them only a few weeks ago in my office in Manly. And they're beautiful children that deserve the opportunity to grow up, to go to school, to have an education. And so to su suggest that families like the Hamads family are not deserving of being able to escape a war zone, of seek, um, seek safety for their children, is offensive. And it goes against what it is to be Australian, which is to, to be there for people in need and to offer, offer safety and security to people that deserve it. So I am offended by the, 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 the rhetoric from the Leader of the Opposition, the nature of this suspension of standing orders and the continued attempts to divide the Australian society around these lines and issues. We are better than this. We've just seen the Olympic Games where we've got the idea that sport is bringing people together Order. and you are doing everything you can to separate and divide our communities. It, we are multinational multinational, multicultural country member for Kennedy. We are multicultural and it's important to rem remember Order. that. Member for Kennedy.